Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about the content in the course preview folder. When you click on course content at the top, you'll see that there are different folders on the left side and one of them is called course preview. Uh, there are two folders within the course preview folder. The first one, which is called start here, is really to make sure that your technology is working so there is a system check and then as you scroll down there are little tutorials for all the different elements of the My Courses system. So if you've used My Courses before, if you've taken quizzes and submitted work on My Courses, then you probably know how to do all these things already. Um, these are not for grades, but they are just to help you. So if you, for instance, are trying to turn in something to a Dropbox, like your essay, and you don't know how to do that, then inside of this Dropbox link, it has different areas of instruction that you might need. The most common one that people go looking for is this one on how to view a Turnitin report, which is your plagiarism checker, to make sure that your essays are in good shape. But there are different links within these little tutorials to show you how to manipulate something within the system. Um, Another important one that I would like to point out is the email one. If you don't know how to email me or anything like that related to your email, which is a really important part of any online course, then you want to take a look at this section to be able to contact me if you need to. Okay, so these instructions will help you navigate my courses. The second folder is called My Story, and there are two assignments inside that are for grades. Uh, after some information presented at the top, you can scroll down, and the first one is an introduction. When you click on it, it'll bring you to the instructions page where it asks you just to tell us a little bit about yourself. Answer the following questions. When you're ready to respond, you just click Start a New Thread. You can put your name here in the subject line and then type your answer to those questions below. When you're ready to submit that, you just scroll down and click Post. And that will enable everyone to learn a little bit about you. Back in the My Story folder, there is a sample that goes with this assignment here. And once again, you are just doing a little bit of free writing to let us know about you. Um, this is one that only I will be able to read, though. So if it's a discussion, then the rest of the class can look at it. If it's a Dropbox, then it's just for me. So you can answer any one of these five questions you want to, and you want to develop three to 400 words of writing. Uh, what you do want to do is, is do your best when it comes to grammar, uh, but it's okay if it does have some flaws, but at least it'll let me know where your current grammar skills lie. Now, grammar is something that's really important to this course, but there isn't direct instruction on grammar because not everybody needs the same grammar thing. Some of you might be strong when it comes to commas, and some of you might be weak in that area. Um, so everyone always kind of has their individual grammar needs, but obviously since it's a writing course, when it comes to the final copies of your essays, how good the grammar is will impact your grade on those essays. I do recommend if it is possible for you to go to a campus tutoring center, any of our campuses have tutors in the library. Um, the students who do best in the course typically will try and get a little extra help when it comes to editing and fixing their final copies of their essays. Um, if you can't do that, there are online tutoring services we have and they are actually required for grades in this course. And I'll be pointing those out to you when the time comes. Um, but you want to, if you want to work on your grammar individually at home, you have this folder here, the Grammar Geek, and inside there are different lessons. Now, these are not for grades in the course, but they're for your personal enrichment. So if you get com comments from me saying, hey, you've got, you know, comma issues, then you might want to go in here and individually kind of go through the different lessons. There are quizzes and tutorials that go with it, but um, take some time to improve on your own grammar weaknesses with these activities. Again, these are just to help you, but they are not for grades in the course. Okay? So that completes a discussion of the course preview folder, and if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you.